Okay. 1, the diagram below shows the graph y is equal to sine theta for this one. Okay. Convert each angle on the theta axis to radian. Then show each angle on a separate Cartesian plane. So here we have angle 30 up to 360 degree. So we know that when we have theta angle up to radian. Radian is a small unit, right? Because we know that 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radian. So what we need to do is that converting to a smaller unit, you have to divide with 180. So this one is pi. So you just multiply with pi over 180 to get radian. So this one, so you start with 0, right? Or just 30 degree. So 0 is 0 radian. Lah. So never mind, just 0 degree is equal to 0 times pi over 180, which is equal to 0 radian. Thirty degree is equal to thirty times pi over hundred eighty. So divide with thirty one six you get pi over six radian. You can just leave it like this, or you can just uh, convert the pi into the number three point one four two, or you just use the pi in uh, in your calculator. So pi divided by six you get zero point five two three six radian. Okay, so this one you have 90 degree. 90 degree is equal to 90 times pi over 180. Which is equal to divide by 30. Get 3, this one is 6. Right. So 3, this one is 6. 3 over 6. So we get 1 over 2. Oh my God. Pi over 2 radian. So pi over 2 radian. So pi, 3 by 4, 2 divided by 2. We get 1.571 radian. Okay. So basically the angle we know that we have quadrant right we have q1 q2 q3 q4 and each quadrant is 90 degree all the angle will start from the x axis so 0 is 0 lah so 30 degree must be in quadrant 1 this one is 30 degree okay this one is 0 this one is 30 degree so 90 degree so this one is 90 degree, you see? One quadrant up to this y axis is 90 degree. So 150 degree is equal to 150 times pi over 180. So you can divide by 30, right? 5, 6. So this one is 5 pi over 6 radian. So this one is 5 pi over 6 radian is equal to 2.618 radian. So this one is 210 degree is equal to 210 times pi over 180 divided by 30 you get 7. This one is 6. 7 pi over 6 radian. Or you can multiply pi directly you will get 3.665 radian. So this one we have 270 degree which is equal to 270 time pi over 180 so divided by 30 you get 9 this one you get 6 by right, 9 over 6 can be smaller divided by another 3 so you get 3 here and this one you get 2 so this one is 3 pi over 2 radian so 3 pi over 2 radian is 4.712 radian so it can be this one or this one so 150 degree, so we know that it is more than 90 degree. So this one is, every quadrant is 90 degree. So 150 degree is before 180 degree, right? So this one is 150 degree. So 210 degree is more than 180 degree. So this one is 180 degree. So it must be here. This one is 210 degree or 7 pi over 6 radian or 3.665 radian okay so this one is 270 degree so we know this one is 90 degree 90 degree another 90 degree so it is here which is 270 degree 270 degree or 3 pi over 2 radian or 4.712 radian depending on the mode which uh, either you are using radian or angle okay so this one so 330 degree is equal to 330 times pi over 
180 so this one divided by 30 we get 11 this one 6 so this one is 11 over 6 pi or 11 pi over 6 is the same thing so here when you multiply directly with pi we get 5.7596 radian and this one last one 360 degree is equal to 360 times pi over 180 so this one is C this one is 2, this one is 1, which is obviously 2 pi. So 2 pi, when you multiply 2 times pi, you get 6.283 radian. Okay, so for the angle, 330 degrees, so we know it's more than 300, 270 degrees, so it's somewhere here, 330 degree. So this one is 330 degree. And for 360 degree, we know that it's all the way from the start up until the X exists again. Alright.